Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I have a video for you about this bag. This is the Senrev Cadence handbag and it is one that I've been using for the last over two months now and I wanted to do an updated review for you. So if you're interested, I have a lot of answers to your questions that I'll cover in this video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily and I love handbags. I love doing reviews, comparisons, and unboxings. I also love travel, fashion, and luxury. So if you like any or all of those things, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my next video, which might include an Hermes unboxing, so stay tuned. I'm also extremely close to 5K subscribers on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all of the support that you have given me over the years. I know a lot of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed, uh, but if you can just click on the subscribe button, that will help me a lot. And I don't know, once I hit 5K, I might do a giveaway. Um, I'm already looking into like things that would be a really good giveaway item. If you have any thoughts, um, suggestions, leave it in the comments below. All right. so. I usually do an updated review of a handbag once I've used it for about two months. And like I said, I did use this for a little bit over two months. So I think I have enough information to give you sort of the pros and cons, the wear and tear, and answer all of the questions that you have submitted in my previous unboxing video. If you would like to see that unboxing video, I'll link it below as well. So before I get into the answering of your questions, I am going to tell you a little bit about this bag in case uh, you have not seen it before. This is the Cadence handbag, and this is only in one size at the moment. It comes in pebbled leather, which is what this material is made of. But they recently also released the uh, bio version of this, and that vegan material is made from plant-based proteins as well as bio polyurethane. So I personally have not touched it yet, but I am very interested. They both retail, so both materials retails for 645 US dollars. And if I ever get one, I will share my thoughts because I am very interested in sustainable, fashion but also good for the environment. Holding it a little closer will allow you to see what the pebbled leather looks like. This is Senrev's probably most popular and original material. It's got some graining and it is very similar to sort of like a treated coated leather which makes it extremely durable and scratch resistant and stain resistant. Let me just while I'm here give you a close look and overview of this bag. This pebbled leather version does come in five different colors. The vegan version comes in another set of colors, but I'll just tell you what this one is. Um, this one is the cream color with the gold hardware. It also comes in ice with the silver hardware, in noir, which is the black color, in gold hardware. And then it also, it's sold out now, but there's limited lavender. It's so beautiful. It comes in the silver hardware. So if it ever comes back in stock, I'll try to notify you guys on my Instagram, which by the way, if you don't follow me, there. I, I try to do a lot more like story updates there. So it's at Clutch to Carry All if you would like to follow me and get more instant news. I'm just going to check my notes. Um, oh, it also comes in the chestnut color in gold hardware. And the chestnut is like a brown color. So it's very beautiful. And all of them have the same size construction and the leather strap that goes with it matches the color of the bag. Now measuring this bag is very difficult. As you can see, it does taper off to the side and you can see it kind of like flares out at the bottom um, depending on how much stuff you fill it with. So I'm gonna give you approximate measurements and when I show you what fits, it might actually give you a better idea um, of the sizing. But width, we have between eight to nine inches. So depending like if you measure down here, it's a little bit smaller than if it is like right here and it's a little bit smaller up here because it does taper in. Um, so that's about 20 to 23 centimeters. And then for height, I have measured it at six inches. So that's about like 16 centimeters. And then for depth, it ranges from 2.5 to four inches. I know that's a big range, but it's um, about six to 10 centimeters. And this removable strap, which I will remove in just a sec, uh, is 10.5 inches to 23 inches long all the way through. And that is about 26 to 58 centimeters. So it, there is a big range on this leather strap. And then the width of the strap is 0.75 inches or about 1.9 centimeters. 
with the bag empty, but with the strap, it does come in at about 1.7 pounds or about 0.77 kilograms. So I hope that is helpful for those of you thinking about uh, what you can fit in this bag. So now I'm gonna go into what I thought of this bag using it and it will cover some of your questions, I believe. If I do miss any and I try to like note all of them here, but if I do miss any, please leave it in the comments below and I will try to answer it. Um, okay, so first of all, wear and tear. There is no wear and tear and I mean, okay, let me let me take another look. Uh, I, did, I did do a quick overview of this before filming but I do not see any and I'm not surprised because I've owned many Senref bags and I've never seen any wear tear or staining which is one of your questions um I, I just saw kind of one right here there might be a slight there might be a slight darkening right there but that is the only one I see there is no scratches and like this one doesn't have feet right so there's no scratches but then again I don't toss this on the ground either so yeah and then on the hardware you can see that there's not really any scratches there as well on the shoulder strap, which could see somewhere, I don't see any. There's no fraying of the stitching. It looks just like it did when I first got it. So thank you, Antonia, for that question. Um, the next question that I did get is about the strap. So Danny wanted to know about this part, I believe. So this is um, like a little step right here, and this is what holds the leather so that you can adjust it. Um, so she wonders if this will you know, sit on the shoulder or the collarbone and um, be painful. So right now I can show you, this is on one of the shorter settings so you can wear it as a shoulder bag. And you can see that it does not touch any of the collarbone or any place. If I wear it on the other side, you can see again, it doesn't really hit anywhere. However, I can show you that if it does for some reason, so like in a longer setting, so this is one way to wear it, right? Um, but you can, loosen it so this strap can come off completely and it kind of loops around itself so that it doesn't have this odd strap fl um, flipping around but this is how you would undo it so that you can adjust the length so i'm just going to adjust it for you really quick um, so you can see like that is how you adjust the length so she's asking about crossbody. So I'm gonna make the strap longer just so that you can see um, what it looks like in the longer setting. So you just punch these holes back in at a longer setting. You can see that the strap is still hooked in here. And so right now you can see that the step of that is right there. So it doesn't affect it. And if I wore it crossbody, it also doesn't affect it. Um, so no, to your question, Danny, it does not. But if it does, what you can do uh, is just move it. So you see how it is right here. Let's say this is not where you want it. What you can do is pull both of these straps right here, pull it through, and you can see how this comes closer to the edge right here, right? So you just have to adjust all of the looping, push this back into one of the loops down here. Now you can see that it's just short of reaching this next one, but what you can do is again, pull just a slight bit more like that. And so then that gives you more material there and you just kind of thread it through. And then now right there, you can see you have just enough to push it in through this one and it doesn't flap around. So what I'm trying to say is even if this step is not in a position that you like it at, you can move it. And so now you can see that I am wearing it on the longer setting, but the uh, step right here is down here. And if I wear it crossbody, you can see that it doesn't get affected. And it's up to you to adjust it by threading the strap through and moving it to a location that you want. I hope that answers your question. I know it was very specific questions, but yeah, this is not usually something I see in bags. So it is kind of a mystery. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, Denise had a question about color transfer and I had already answered that. I have a question from Mizuki and this kind of goes into what fits in the bag. So I'm just gonna show you um, actually, you know what I'm gonna do is remove this strap completely because it will help me show you what fits inside without this flapping around. And that will actually, that will actually help me 
um, also show you other ways to wear it. So to remove it, you just unlatch everything. You pull this through. And so now you have this long leather strap, but then you're left with this. So uh, what, how you open the bag is, I think I just showed you, it's very easy. So there's this clasp and you kind of pinch right here and it pops open. And then there are these two smaller flaps right here that close over, but if you open it, um, you come into the center of this bag. The center of this bag is lined with their famous micro suede blue lining, which is also water resistant and stain resistant. There's one big compartment here. There's a slip pocket right here. And there's another slip pocket with a little, uh, I guess, flap button here. This is a very interesting one. I have been putting sort of my um, receipts and stuff in here and uh, yeah, like it doesn't, it, it's very secure, but my receipts doesn't have to be, but that's just, I think one of you asked me what you would do with it and that's sort of what I've been doing. But you can also fit other um, smaller items there. And then in between the po bigger pockets, there are little slip sections, which I have put credit cards. Um, and there's also one on this side right there. Okay, so Mizuki asked if it could fit a 20 centimeter wallet. I don't have a 20 centimeter wallet. I do have a 19 centimeter wallet. This one is the Emily wallet from Louis Vuitton. So here we go into the center compartment. You can see that it's a very snug fit, um, but it will fit. It's very snug and it has to fit right into the center and it does take the entire space, but this is a 19 centimeter. So to answer your question, the 20 centimeter will not fit, but 19 centimeter across and shorter will fit across here. Um, but yes, it was a little snug fit. And the reason why is because you can see on the inside, there are these hooks um, right there, which I'll show you how to use it later, but they kind of like make it so that, you know, um, it kind of, juts into the bag a little bit. So it takes up some of your space, but yep, yeah, my 19 inch long wallet does fit. Denise asked if a water bottle will fit in here and I am not sure what size water bottle you're referring to, but I have two that I usually show on this channel. They are the about 17 fluid ounce bottle and an eight fluid ounce bottle. So you can see that this is the, the height difference, but in terms of, uh, you know, circumference, they're, they're the same. So let's test the larger one first. Now, again, I took everything out. The larger one will fit in there like that. So you can see if I closed it, <laughs> it does fit, but it does fit like slightly at an angle and it does take up the entire space. So I'm not sure if that's helpful. If like all you wanted to carry was a water bottle and like a few, you know, cards or something, a wallet, then yeah, uh, like, a, like a card holder, um, you might be able to do that, but you can't put much more in here. So that hopefully answers the question of this one. And just because I know different water bottles are at different lengths and heights, um, I'll try to measure this one. Uh, it's about seven and a half inches. So hopefully that helps. And if you were to look at the smaller sized one, this is the eight fluid ounce one, it will of course fit in here, no problem. You can see that uh, it doesn't, reach the top so you can stand it straight up, which is what I like to do. I don't like to keep my water bottles hanging sideways because if it spills, then your bag is full of water. Um, so here we go. The eight inch water bottle is sitting snugly in there. And here now you can put other things. Like I have a Chanel O case and that fits right there. I have a Hermes lip gloss, which I've been loving by the way. I'm actually wearing it today. I have this uh, rose cola on here. I will link it below if you're interested. So that can go in there. I have a Dior compact that can also fit there. So with a water bottle, you can fit a bunch of stuff and then you can still fit cards in the other compartments, no problem. Okay, so let's say, so if you, I know a lot of you have the mini pochette from Louis Vuitton and that fits in the middle compartment, no problem. I also have a toiletry 15. These are really hard to come by now, but that will also fit in here um, to the middle compartment, no problem. As you can see, I could fit both of them there. I also have a card holder. This one is from Senrev. Um, it was a gift. They were so lovely to send me one, um, but you can fit that also in here. Like you see how there's, you can slip into the back or you can slip it into the front pocket right there. So it's very like easy. And yeah, or 
or you can also slip it into the back pocket on the outside. Um, but I actually like to put my phone in there. So my, I have the uh, Pixel 5 from Google and the Pixel 5 does fit across into the back like so. If you have a bigger phone than this, then it won't fit this way, but you can fit it tall ways as well. Um, it will stick out a little bit. So let me close the bag. So you can see that it does kind of peek out right there, but um, it won't fall out. So yeah, I want to show you other ways that you could wear this bag. And it is actually with one of the external straps that Zenrev does sell. They actually started selling the acetate chains, which I will uh, link below if I if they're available. But I saw an email about it just recently. So I don't have one of those chunky chains, but if you do, it might look really cute with this bag. Uh, otherwise, I do have these more like flat, comfortable uh, straps. And what you can do is you take, you know, um, anything that actually has one of these uh, lobster clasps. And I was showing you earlier, let me take this out so that you can see it better. Uh, but I was showing you earlier, um, you see how there is this, actually, let me also take this one out. You can see that earlier, I was telling you that there are these like little leather strap with the hooks at the end of it. So the D rings allow you to snap in a new strap. So I don't know if you can see right there. And then if you do it on the other side as well, so there's, see, there's another one right there. And so you can use any strap. This one is from Senrev, um, but you can use, you know, the Louis Vuitton ones. You can use a lot of other ones. So once you've hooked it in, you see like that, you can close the bag like that. But then on the side, it comes out right there. And so if you have a fun strap, you can also use it with this bag. So um, this will definitely be more comfortable because it's wider and it's fabric. And there's even a little D-ring here so you can hook like your sunglasses, your little iP um, iPod holder, or a little keychain pouch or something like that. So yeah, like it's very easy. I also have metal straps and that can also hook the same way and they could dress up the bag a little bit. So the possibilities are really endless. You can put any brand's straps on here as long as it has that little ring to clip onto the D-ring that's inside this bag. Another thing that I really like about this bag is the closure. It's very easy to get in and out of and it just, it has like, like that satisfying click when you open it. I don't know, I'm weird. So I believe that was all the questions listed in the previous unboxing video, as well as my Instagram posts. If you have any further questions that I did not answer here, leave in the comments below. If you have any suggestions on what else I can compare this to or other items that you would like me to talk about, leave it in the comments below as well. So the last thing I guess I wanted to say is that I do really like this bag. It is very different than all of my other Sunref bags. It is at a different size than I am used to, but I really like that because it fits sort of like a, a hole in my collection. Um, it is very sturdy. It can fit a lot of things. And yeah, just in general, I've been really loving it. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you guys in my next video. Bye.